Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what is fine changes shape and how to configure fine changes shape on Boomi. So first we'll look into what is fine changes shape. So the fine changes shape provides a way for a process to track changes made to a document and to send the document results down and add update and delete path. Actually fine changes shape contains three paths add path, update path and delete path. So if there is any changes on that particular document it will route the documents to the appropriate Paths. Suppose if there is any new data or new document added to the document, those results will go to the add path. Suppose if there is any document got updated, those document will go to the update path. Suppose if there is any documents got deleted from the source system, those documents will go to the delete path. So we can see how those documents will go to the appropriate path on Boomi. So first we'll look into uses of fine changes shape. Fine changes shape is most useful for large data sets and mainframe files. Where full capture of the data always need to be retrieved from the source system. Which means suppose if you want to get entire data from the source system that time you can use fine changes shape immediately after the source system. So that you can able to filter the data. I mean uh, like new data or updated data or deleted data so based on your requirement suppose if you want to process only new data that time you can add your remaining execution shapes on add path so like that this fine changes shape will help you to track the changes on the document which is coming from the source system so we'll see how to configure fine changes shape on boomi now so this is our previously created process if you haven't watched my previous videos please go and check it out now okay so for time being i'm just removing this data process shape and flow control shape so we need to use fine changes shape next to the source system okay so instead of source system we are using message shape to get the data right so so after message shape i'll place fine changes shape so fine changes shape is one of the execute shape so that's why you can find fine changes shape on execute shape so here fine changes shape i'm just dragging and dropping the fine changes shape to the process okay so here you can find fine changes shape definition the fine changes shape provides a way for a process to track changes made to a document and to send the document results down and add, update or delete path. The fine changes shape parses each line at a time and forwards the results down the appropriate path. Which means fine changes shape will take entire document from the source system and it will read line by line and if the first line is a new document it will go to the add path if the first line is updated document it will go to the updated path if the first line got deleted it will go to the down path so now we'll see how to configure fine changes shape so this is the display name so this is not a mandatory option if you want to give any name you can give otherwise you can leave as it is so after that we have document type so here we need to choose document type which document structure you are getting from the source system suppose if you are getting database structure from the source system you need to choose database suppose if you are getting flat file you need to choose flat file so currently we are getting flat file structure from the source system right i'll choose document type as flat file so after that we need to choose profile structure here so which profile structure you are going to fetching from the source system okay so we are fetching demo one flat file so this structure we are getting from the source system okay so i have selected that one after that we need to select key columns so key columns is nothing but the primary key of the element okay so in this profile structure id is the primary key right so that id we need to select on key columns part so which means find changes shape will store all documents with reference to the id so based on this id find changes shape will track the document whether it is a new document or updated document or deleted document so as i said find changes shape have three paths add path updated path and deleted path 
ओके सो फॉर ईच पाथ विल एड एंड एंड कंटिन्यू शेप फॉर टाइम बींग ओके एंड आई एम कनेक्टिंग दिस सोर्स सिस्टम विच मीन्स मेसेज शेप टू फाइन चेंजेस शेप ओके एंड आई एम सेविंग द प्रोसेस so from source system we are getting this document right so for the first time find changes shape will take all documents which is coming from the source system and it will assume the entire document is new so that's why the documents will go to the add path okay from the second execution onwards on the basis of the first execution results it will compare whether we are getting updated records or deleted records or any new records okay so first we'll see how it will work okay so i'm testing the process with test atom see the execution got completed and all the documents went to the add path okay so this is the first execution okay will execute another time so this time the documents didn't went to any path add path update path or delete path because the same data i mean whatever data we executed at first time the same data coming from the source system again so this find changes shape compares with the first execution results and it find there is no changes on the document so that's why it didn't went to any path now we'll change one of the document values so for name i'm just placing h before the name okay so we'll see whether it will go to update path or not okay i'm saving the process and i'm testing the process see one document came to the update path we'll see whether it is a change document or not see we placed h before the name right so the updated document came to the update path so remaining documents didn't went to any path okay and we'll try to remove one document and we'll add one new document the id value will be 123 and name also 3 okay so now as per the document one document got deleted which is 120 document got deleted and one new document got added to the entire document so one document will go to the add path and one document will go to the delete path we'll see whether it will go to the appropriate paths or not see add path and deleted path at the end of the add path we got 123 id records because this is the new record so that's why it went to the add path under deleted path we got one more document which is 120 because we deleted this document from the source system so this is how find changes shape will work on boomi it will try to track the changes made on the document which is coming from the source system okay hope you understand today's video if you have any doubts on today's video please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye